Okay, how's it going? All right. <clears throat> I thought I. Uh, I thought I'd interview you today to get a little feedback for your big match tonight. All right, that's fine. Uh, big match. Blade, you talking about? Yes, sir. What is your what is your strategy for tonight? Um stay from under him. Stay away from under him. That's that's uh that's gonna be that's gonna be my biggest challenge. He's a he's a big boy. He's a very very strong strong man. Um, we tied up once or twice and I gotten lucky. Um, I'm hoping I'm, I'm I'm hoping my luck stays with me tonight. Okay. What about Arrow Kid there? What do you think about? His strategy for tonight. Good. Okay, that's good. So, I want to go over some of the matches uh, that they're having tonight. Uh, of course, you and Blade, and then we got the Monsters Ball match with Revan and Brawler Morrison. How do you think that's going to, the outcome of that's going to be? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Brawler Morrison on this one, man. He's on a roll this year. Um, he's really come out of his shell. He's uh, he's found himself finally. And, and man, he's, he's a tough dude. Uh, Brawler Morrison, it, it, he's, it, this is his year. So, yeah, I, I give that one to him. Okay, and from what I understand, there's a Cody Burns appearance tonight. Any idea if you know who he's facing? I had no idea about this. No, I have no, 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 I got no, I have no idea about this at all. And I think uh, also there is another title defense for the national title tonight for with Drake Gallows. And whoever yeah, he goes, uh, who's he going up against? Um, I think it's an open challenge. Oh well, maybe Cody. Is that what's going on? Maybe is that what the? I don't. I never heard anything about Cody coming around. So that might be the reason. I don't know. It's it's kind of a surprise to me. <laughs> yeah, all right, so I'm. Yeah, I'm shocked too. That's and then uh, tomorrow we got the Red Dirt show with Golden Knight and Malachi. What's your input about that one? Uh, let me see. I don't have any input about Malachi, but I do know Golden Eye. Uh, he's been around for a few years, so just. Uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll give it to Golden Eye. Um, I mean, he's not, he's not the, not the best around, but he's got. I, like I say, if he's if got a newcomer coming in, I think he's got. I think he can take him. What okay. Think? I think he he is a good competitor in the ring. Yeah, I think he'll win. Golden Eye. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. We got we got Golden Eye on this one then. Okay. Another one. I think you might be able to answer this one for sure because the next match is going to be uh, against your opponent tonight, Tommy Dean versus Blade. Oh, really? Now, well then. Uh. I'm going to have to give it to Tommy Dean because after tonight, I'm going to soften Blade up so much. Tommy isn't going to have much trouble getting him down for that one, two, three. So you're welcome, Tommy Dean. Yep, Tommy. Tommy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tommy Dean on this one, too. Sorry, Blade. You just – not your weekend. Okay, what about Thrash and Kilbane versus a good old friend of yours by the name of Gemini? 
and MLP. Lovies and Jim and I, I have no idea who MLP is. I don't even know uh, that's Have you heard uh, of Who's MLP? Ma MLP's gonna... Mascara La Parca. Oh. I'm going to have to give it to Thrash and Morrison. I mean, kill Bang. Oh, no, it's Mascara. No, it's, it's La Parca. It's La Parca. You want you can give it to who? Thrash and Kill Bang. Thrash and Kill Bang? That's Legend Has It right there, isn't it? Is that, is that what they... That's Legend Has It, right? It's not the legendary La Parca, but no, I'm talking it's... about Thrash and Killbane. That that's a tag team of legends, has it right? That's, I think uh... so. Yes. So I'm going to go have to go with Legends Has It on this one. And then we got Ryan Ripper versus Riven. Don't know those two. Yeah, I mean I know Riven. Um... I'll give it to him, Riven. I have no solution because I don't know. You don't have no decision? Yeah. yeah. You don't know anybody? No, it's all right. Uh, you'll learn about Riven tonight, trust me. Yeah, you, you can't can miss that. Tonight. Just look for the bloodiest man in the ring, the two bloody men. Yeah. Yeah, you're not scared of blood, are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> And then uh, the main event for the RDW Championship match to crown the first ever, Drake Gallows versus Oxley. Oh, Oxley. Really? He's got – he's getting around, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Ah, good for him. Um, I want – to give it to Oxley, uh, it, it, if he's getting around, he's a, he's he's a little hungry, you know. And get but 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 this opportunity might be just a little too much for him to bite on, you know. It's just, we're talking about the legend Drake Gallows here. So. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, I'm gonna have to give it to Drake. Sorry, Ox. I I know you're hungry, but yeah, it, it's it's gonna be Drake on this one. Yeah, Drake. <laughs> Okay. Thank you for your feedback on that. And who was your who was y'all's favorite wrestler growing up? Ooh, my favorite wrestler, uh, man, Jimmy Jimmy the Superfly Snooker, man, Jimmy Superfly Snooker. That that'd probably be it. That's what that's what wanted me to fly around all the time. You know, get on couches and jump off, and <laughs> that was uh, that was him. That was that was my guy. Mine, Edge. 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 Edge and Christian. All right. Okay. Okay. I, I can I can accept that answer. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Edge and Christian. Okay. Actually, I thought he would have said someone like John Cena or something. Yeah. I'm sure if it was like two years ago, probably. Eddie, too. Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero. Yeah. Ah, there you go. See, he's see like the. Stuff. He's literally the like the third person in the interviews lately that just said that Eddie. So that's yeah, pretty he's funny. Inspired, he's inspired a lot of us, man. That's where you've got the three amigos, probably. Yep, three amigos came from him. Yeah. When did you decide to be a pro wrestler? Um, oh, man, about 20 years ago, I saw this uh, OPW commercial on TV, uh, Oklahoma Pro Wrestling, and it just kind of stuck with me till, till it bothered me enough to go find out what it was about, and they had training sessions, and I went ahead and joined one and stuck with it. Uh, it was, I mean, I've always wanted to be a pro wrestler. I mean, you know, I don't think everybody as a kid, you know, grew up watching pro wrestling um, would, 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 you know, always wanted to be one, but the opportunity came and I took it. So is this the kid that, if I remember right, seeing a couple of promo videos that Elijah Sparks threw in a trash can? Yes. Yeah. How was that experience for you? Actually, I've never got thrown in one, but 
that was my first. E turned our back on this. And I'm pretty sure the smell wasn't very pleasant. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> And I do believe you got, a, of course, a lucha background you'd like to tell everyone. You me? Yes. Oh, I mean, you know, I'm the Oklahoma luchador. I just, <laughs> uh, you know, you talk about like what we talked about earlier, you know, that, that little stuff yeah. I did in Mexico. Um, I, I, uh, I've had training from uh, Mascara Purpura. I don't know if you know him. Yeah, Mascara Purpura. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, is uh, not really much to tell. It's just just training, um, getting around, doing, getting pushed into places where you don't feel comfortable in to make yourself comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, what is the funniest thing you you and maybe a friend of yours like stories on the road? Um, got lots of them. Um, well, I guess the funniest one that I could think of goes around every now, every now and then. Um, JJ. Uh, which was Eric Kid or Aero Nine? I'm sorry. Um, when we first met, we had a we had a show up in Harrison, Arkansas, for Jason Jones. Um, I was in the back seat with him, and he was passed out. And this was actually my first show back. Uh, it's been like five, six years, long. You know, not being around, not knowing anybody. You know, uh, Tim, well, Tim Rockwell was uh, was in there. I, I believe his wife was as well in the car. Can't remember that, but anyway, we, we were all headed out, and he was passed out, and I was like, "Yeah, this is this just this just do it." So, put my pants down, put it right in his ass, and right my, my my face on his ass, or my 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 ass on his face, and took a picture. And it's been around for a while now. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's, it's on Facebook. And... <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah, that, that's about the most appropriate story I could tell you right now. This is a, uh, us wrestlers got a lot of inappropriate stories. <laughs> so has uh, Arrow Kid been on the road a lot with you, or...? No, I don't really take him on the road at all. This is going to be one of the first times that he comes out with me. Uh, he's been getting asked about a lot. So, I'm like, okay, so I, I was like, I'll be okay, and we'll go we'll go and do these, these shows together. So, what do you hope to achieve in the wrestling business, Arrow Kid? His goals and stuff, like, Learning like more process. The uh, wrestling. Yes. The process. The, the wrestling process. Yes. So that I can, like, grow up and then be like one of those wrestlers that I've always wanted to be. Okay, and what is your dream match before your before Paul Puerto Rico here retires? Um, Tim Rockwell versus Paul. Another one? The second one when he won the title. Okay. Um, I think he was telling you that was his dream match. I think he was telling you that. That's what sort it of sounds like. Okay. What championships and awards have you won? Uh, me or him? Well, uh, 
I think maybe you. I don't know if he's won any. <laughs> I've got a few. Um, uh, my most accomplished, I believe, would be the my WFCs titles that I have won there. You know, the, the hometown heroes title and and the heavyweight title. Um, I have also won the uh, Mid South when it was around. Mm -hmm. uh, BPW tag title. Uh, old school back in you know when I was in my twenties. You know, OPW light heavyweight title, tag title. Uh, can't really remember everything. I don't. I don't. I, I don't keep up with that type of stuff. It's, yeah. I leave that. I leave that to Chris Burnham. He'll. Now, what's the status on Space Age? Are y'all going to end up getting back together, or are y'all officially done? Um, not sure. What's going on? I thought that. Uh, I said Aeronaut and I were going to do something, and things right now we're uh, we're we're feuding, um, and uh, whatever happens after this, we'll see. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'd like somebody to take over Space Age after I'm gone, so maybe that's what's happening with his butt. Maybe Elijah, maybe Gemini, or it could be somebody new. Or just be done. Uh, we just have to see whenever it happens. Maybe he'll take over whenever, you know, whenever it's his time. Okay. Has he already started his training? Yes. And how is that going? Good. And I'm guessing Paul Puerto Rico is training you? <laughs> um, yeah, he's getting a, he's getting a lot of training from different people. It's it, my training isn't. I mean, I train, but when I want to, when, when I train somebody, it's just going to be just me. It's going he's going to get a group of everybody, you know, a, a, a group of people and, and knowledge from all of them, and and he's going to make his own style, you know, and. Whatever happens, he might not even wear the mask late later on. Okay. And talking about Elijah, it looks like he just popped in. And Elijah, I talked to Arrow Kid here. Apparently, this is the kid you threw in a trash can. Why did you do that? Well, he might have been the best, but still, you still betrayed him and threw him in the trash can. Yeah, that's water under the bridge. Elijah <laughs> and I, we're fine. We're good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I don't know. Lately, like he was saying last night, in, o in the OKC area, he's been kind of going villain. Well, you know, sometimes you gotta show your other side. Sometimes you gotta relieve that stress. And apparently, I I don't know if you have any idea. Maybe if it was you and someone else, he got attacked uh, this past show. I think it was like WFC or something by a group called Most Wanted. I was wondering if it was you or possibly someone else. No, definitely not me. I uh, definitely not me. I've heard about this attack, but no, I I wouldn't do that to him. Because from what I understand, Elijah's been flying around getting suspects. I, you know, I believe he's going to take out the trash whenever he gets there. Now, what's your idea on Gemini and Shadow Gemini right now? I, there's, I mean, I don't know what you mean. There's two different people. 
I mean, do you think that's the guy you actually know, Shadow Gemini, or is that I don't a whole? Know Shadow thing? Gemini. I know Gemini. I don't know who Shadow Gemini is. I don't know Shadow. I don't know this. I don't know. There's two different people to me. I've had conversations with Gemini. He's he, nothing weird or anything like that. It's that Shadow guy. I don't. I don't know. I don't know him. <laughs> They're already getting into it on here. Are they? Yeah, it's golden eye. Every time he comes in. Worked with him as well. Okay, that's good. Now, what do you consider, uh, Arrow Kid, a dream match one day you would like to have? Who would you like to have? Maybe one with G Mini? Yeah. Uh, I would definitely like to have the last man standing. With who? all that? With, uh. Kildane? <laughs> Ooh. I don't know about that one. You better just keep running in circles, turn that dude out. <laughs> Anybody else? Is it? Me and Samedi. You and Samedi? Mm hmm Okay, okay. I can see that. I can see that, but be very careful, because I don't know what he's got going up, up his sleeve, but y'all seen the whole deal with Shadow Gemini. Yeah. This past WFC, he turned his back, Shadow Gemini. He just went up to go talk to him and he punched him in the face. Because, I mean, he can make a mini version of you that's evil, so. Yeah. That's the last time I saw him was when he punched him in the face. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mr. Nasty uh, says something to you. <laughs> you keep your pimp hands strong, baby. No. You know, he's for real. Show Mr. Nasty what you can do. <laughs> but do you remember your very first match, Paul Puerto Rico? Oh yeah, absolutely do. Yeah, it was the OPW training center. With uh, um, up against Ichiban. Oh, that's an interesting name. Yeah, it's very old school. Yeah, Ichiban. And uh, who went over on that match? I do believe I did. Do you, ha do you have any shows, upcoming shows that you're going to be appearing in other than the one tonight? Um, WFC on the 20th and the 27th, I believe it's uh, wrestling. wrestling Against Hunger. Okay. Two charities I work for. And also... Uh, Watch out! Arrow Kid, April 7th. If you want to learn a little bit more, yeah, you won't be with him. But if you want to learn more of the Lucha style, tune in on this uh, live stream April 7th and learn from Juventud Guerrero. Yeah. If that's something you'd be interested in. And he's going to be talking about his whole history and all that. Awesome. But uh, also, who were you trained by? Me? Rocco Valentino. Yeah. Who? 
Rocco Valentino. Okay. Was he is he the same relation as with Tino or no? No. Okay. I was just wondering because the whole Valentino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're around. But if you could bring one person, you, this is a question for both of y'all. One person back to face old school or new school, who would it be and why? Um, that's a loaded question, man. I mean, you can, I could come up with all types of combinations of, you know, old school and new school or, um, we'll keep it local though. How about that? Is that cool? Other than, yeah, that's fine. Time. Um, yeah. I'd like to see uh, Big Daddy Moore versus uh, Mr. Nasty. That would be that would be a really really cool cool match. Um, old school, new school. Okay, yeah. what about you, Arrow Kid? I don't really have one. Okay, let's say this. Let's say you're already trained and ready to wrestle. One person you want to face that if you could bring anyone back. You and Mr. Nasty? <laughs> that would be fun. I don't know. He might use that pin pan a little too hard and knock that mask off. You tell me. Your pin pan strong, too. <laughs> <laughs> also, do, do you have any, like, merchandise you want to advertise? I got shirts, guys. Uh, I'll be bringing them with me tonight. So if you guys are over in uh, the Midwest, Midwest, yeah, Midwest City, for UWO, I'll be there. Eric will be there. And we got shirts. Come get them. Okay. And before you retire, what is one more goal you're trying to achieve? Uh, before I retire, one more goal. I think I want to win the WFC tag titles. That's uh, that's something that I've been pursuing, even with Space Age. And we haven't, we, we've continuously failed. Uh, I've continuously failed. Um, I would, I, I, I would like to get to gain the WFC titles once. Actually, I think that's the belt. Actually, Elijah Sparks is holding either that or the. Wrestle against hunger, something like that. I have no idea. I don't think it'd be the WFC titles. It might be Russell against hunger because I know he yeah, just. I plays. think that's what he has. I think that's what he has. Yeah, he has a yeah he has a uh, the wrestle against hunger or wah. If I say wah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Now, if you uh, could get Space Age back together, would y'all possibly add a new member in? Or would you keep the old members? I'm always open, but definitely keep the old members. I mean, I know probably you could get Gemini, Elijah Sparks, but what are the chances of Arrow not? I mean, if he wants to act right, but everybody's always welcome. I, I don't, I'm not going to turn anybody away just because everybody's, somebody's going through their emotional time. Okay. 
Uh, anyone in here? We can do a quick Q and A with them too, if you want to ask some questions. Yeah, see that all titles. That was a, that was a wrestling against hunger titles, like we said. Yeah, Giganto ain't happy with them two right now. Him yeah. And uh -huh. <laughs> That'll be fun with them. You're good? Mm -hmm. Or Elijah, you got any questions for them? I can't tell if he's typing. Mm -hmm. I got a little lag on my side. It's, let's see. But I guess uh, if you want to advertise for the show again tonight, the time and all that. Uh, it's, uh, tonight, Midwest City, UWO, me against blade second time i believe will be uh what is it door starts uh, or doors open 6 30 show starts at seven i believe that's what it is i don't have anything in front of me i'm going off by by memory elijah are you like reading my mind because that's literally what me and paul was just talking about earlier That's funny. But also tomorrow, same place, same time, we got Red Dirt Wrestling with the main event. I don't know, Elijah. That's between you and Paul. Y'all got to talk that one. You could always talk about that. We gotta see what's uh what's gonna happen to Space Age first. But also, like I was saying, tomorrow, same time, same place. And the main event is gonna be Drake Gallows versus Oxley for the first ever Red Dirt Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. If y'all wanna have some fun, two nights of wrestling in the same building. Some action packed wrestlers. Y'all come on out. Yeah, it'd be a good time. Yeah. And I think Tommy Dean will appreciate his match because you're going to work up on uh, Blade for him. I'm going to make sure Blade's be nice and soft and ready for him. Because <laughs> he, actually, he got to match tonight too. Tommy Dean. Yes, he does. Uh, he's facing, from what I understand, uh, Thrasher, Kilbane, one of them two, and Giganto, from what I understand. Okay. Oh, that must be at core. Yes. <laughs> I got kids stuck. Yeah. But uh, it was good talking to you. Yeah, man. It was great talking to you. And thank you for your time on here. No, I appreciate and you having me. Have you too, Arrow Kid. Mm -hmm. Nice meeting you. We'll see you tonight. All righty. Bye. Bye.